hello and welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to use repeaters and nomad sculpt and discussing their features i often get questions about them how to use the curve tool whether each repeated object can move differently and more so we're going to explore that today the first repeater we'll look at is the array repeater which allows you to duplicate and stack an object along any of the three axes x y and z to find the repeaters open the scene menu select add in the top left corner and choose repeaters from the scene additions i'll be using this tool to recreate a rubik's cube so right now i'm prepping the initial cube that i will be using or i will be repeating using the array tool you can repeat an object along the x y and z axis as many times as you want when you are using the array tool enabling fit inside creates two points where the object repeats between the count setting determines how many times the object is repeated and when you are finally ready to validate this you have three options for validating you have keep instances keep the repeated objects as a separated instances on instance repeats the repeated object so they are no longer connected and join instances groups the objects together as one if you want to edit your instances separately after validating select on instance as you can see here i am repeating the object across the x-axis and you can do the same across the y and when you are doing this you can use each of these repeaters or these repeater settings at the same time so if i create these three cubes across i can stack them across the y-axis and then after i do that i can stack that this formation across the x-axis to create or not the x but the z-axis to create sort of like this rubik's cube feeling for the repeater Again, these validating options are for all repeaters. So which one really depends on how you want to manipulate your objects. The next repeater that we're going to be looking at is the curve repeater, which is great for creating braids, ropes, and other custom shapes like this snake body that I'm creating for you right now. When using the curve repeater, it's important to pivot the gizmo tool so that the green arrow faces the direction you want the objects to be repeated in. Once you select the curve repeater, you will see point A and point B. The objects will be repeated along this path. The curve repeater also allows you to bend and shape the path as needed. For any repeater, if you select and edit the original object, the edits will apply to all instances. Once you have select your curve repeater, move your point to as far as you want it to be, and then you're going to select count and you're going to increase the count and this will duplicate or replicate the object. Now you won't see me do this in this video, but I have done it before to edit or rotate the curve this is the same thing you do for any tube you can use the twist setting for the curve tool and you can twist this and it'll like make the one side looks like it's twisting in a direction or if you have more than one point you can twist the angles of these points in different directions to make it look like these repeated objects are a little bit different 
as you can see here, I've repeated the object along the curve, and it gives you like this really nice snake-like scaly body texture. This tool is very fun. It's really great technique for braids, especially, which if you see my video before, I didn't really know about this. And then somebody came and like showed me and explained it to me. And I was like, oh, this is easier. So definitely this technique for braids tool. If you're doing one or two braids, not a lot of braids, because at the same as this is a very great technique, it can take up a lot of space. So I use this technique for one or two braids when I'm doing hairstyles. See, you can see me taking, I select that one object and if I edit, turn, rotate that one object, all of the instances will have that edit made to it. And then if I select the radius, and make both ends of the radius editable. Once you decrease or increase the rate, most, most likely if you have to increase, or not increase, but decrease an end of that radius, you will have to increase the count of the objects that's being repeated so you can fill that space in. As you can see here, And then once you do that, you have a really cool snake-like textured body. The next repeater we're going to be looking at is the radial repeater, which duplicates an object in a circular pattern around a central axis. Like the array repeater, it can be repeated along the X, Y, and Z axis. Repeaters are great tools for creating complex shapes efficiently and by, you can also save a lot of time when using repeaters. When you choose a option for validating and you want to join all these instances but you also do want to go in and end it or and edit individual elements just use the move tool the move tool allows you to move an element within a group so when you join objects they're not really joined unless you go in and remesh them and when they're joined it's just a group and you can use the move tool to edit each element in that group without affecting the other ones around it. Here I am creating a sunflower or a daisy I guess you would call it. I use the daisy as a reference so it's a daisy and you can see that you can also clone the repeater and move it down and then you can go in and edit the object below that repeater make sure when you do clone a repeater that you have the repeater and the object beneath or linked to that repeater connected or selected both of them selected and then you go in and you clone it if you don't the repeater will just be cloned and just a cloned repeater which i find this radial repeater great for flowers um 
pretty much flowers I've used it for so far. But it's like if you find a use for it and it works well for you, repeaters 100% use them. They're like total lifesavers, save you a lot of time. They create amazing patterns. You can use it for fruit. I used it to create corn one time and it looked really good. So, yeah. And then also, which I won't, I haven't demonstrated in this video, you can repeat a repeater. So, for example, if I use the radial repeater to create like the one segment or one row of a corn, you can use the array repeater to stack that right radial repeated object and create something like a corn on a cob vegetable um you can do this even if you want to i think the radio repeater is also good for creating pumpkins and stuff like that so definitely if you need to repeat something repeaters are your best friend The next repeater we're looking at is the mirror repeater, which duplicates an object symmetrically across an axis. You can mirror an object across one, two, or all three axes simultaneously. So you can see here I have a heart, and then I can I'm going to show you that you can actually uh, mirror this object in different directions, which you can see at the bottom where it has the X, Y, and Z planes, and this allows you to duplicate. You can do one side of an object and then you can do it to the other side without having to do, use the symmetrical tool the entire time. Saves you a lot of space in the end, just like every other repeater. Saves you a lot of time as well.
I hope this video answers your questions and helps you understand the basics of repeaters and nomad sculpt. As always, leave a comment below. Let me know how this worked out for you. Let me know if this worked out for you and if you want me to do any more videos on this specific topic. Go check out on my website and that is where you can see some of the work I've done. You can also leave comments where I would most likely to see them. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below on what you'd like to see in the future videos. See you next video.